Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. Uh, first video, so it's just going to be kind of an introductory video. I'm Brandy, you can tell by the name up there. And uh, so I just decided that I was going to start making YouTube videos. Um, kind of take a leap into the booktube community and see what everyone thinks. I personally enjoy watching the videos on booktube and thought, you know, why not? I like hearing what everyone has to say about the books that are out there and why not give my opinions and, you know, kind of help give you guys an idea of what's out there and what's good and what I think isn't good. And yeah, hopefully you guys like what I have to say. If you don't, then sorry. Um, it's just kind of something I decided to do in my free time. And yeah, so I am going to go ahead and do a bookshelf tour because gonna be talking about books a lot you might as well know what books I have um at the moment it changes a lot because I have a horrible book buying problem but um yeah so we'll go ahead and do a quick bookshelf tour and go from there all right uh make sure you guys subscribe Let me, and hit that like button down below so that I know that you guys actually want to hear what I have to say and so I'm not just talking at a camera for no reason and having my family think I'm an utter. Yeah, let's go! Alright, so I'm going to try as hard as possible to keep this steady and not shake a lot but no guarantee, so I apologize in advance. So, these are my bookshelves. They're not too impressive right now, but I'm working on it. That's what they look like. And my books go this way. Where's my finger at? Um, in alphabetical order by author's last name because I am slightly OCD and that's just how I have to have my books. I can't, you know, I see people who just do it by series and fiction and non-fiction. Actually, all of these books are not, are fiction, but, um, you know, they do it by color and I would love to be able to do that because I think it looks cool, but it would drive me insane. So, here we go. I also have a lot of non-book related things. on my shelf so I'm just gonna move those out of the way as we go as I fold over okay Let's see if I can get it to focus there we go alright so the first thing on my the first book on my shelf are the Kurt is are is the Kurt Cobain journal um, I'm a huge Nirvana fan huge Kurt Cobain fan so had to have that and then we have three Doctor Who comics, because I'm also a huge Doctor Who fan. Next, we have Mouse 1 and Mouse 2, along with Meta Mouse by Art Spiegelman. If you don't know what Mouse is, um, it is a graphic novel about Art Spiegelman's father's time during the Holocaust. And then Meta Mouse is kind of like the companion to the two and it has more interviews and kind of like what went into writing Miles. I haven't actually read it. I've skimmed it but I haven't sat down and read it. But I took a Holocaust class and Miles 1 and 2 were required reading. So that's why I have those. Next we have Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Then Tiff 
I think that's how you say that, and Valiant by Holly Black. Zombies vs. Unicorns by Holly Black and I think Justine, is that right? Yes, Justine Lerbalister. I know I'm, I'm going to butcher some of the names. Uh, then we have The Diviners by Lilla Bray. Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. And then we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Angels, City of Lost Souls, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, and The Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare. Moving over, and my chair is in the way. Get out of the way, chair! Stop on something. Okay. Next shelf, we have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Match Trilogy by Ali Condi, Matched, Crossed, and Reached, which I have to finish that series, Trilogy, The Girl in the Steel Corset by Caddy Cross, Lock and Key, Someone Like You, The Truth About Forever, and This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen, Inhuman by Cat Falls, the, Be the Beautiful and the Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald. If I Stay Where She Went Just One Day and Just One Year by Gail Foreman. A Million Little Pieces and My Friend Leonard by James Frey. Unnatural Creatures by Neil Gaiman. Beautiful Creatures and Beautiful Darkness by... Cami Garcia, An Abundance of Catherines, The Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, and Paper Towns by John Green. Moving on with my giraffe collection, <laughs> Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leviathan, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. The Kite Runner by Khalid Hassani. The Name of the Stars and The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. The Iron King, The Iron Daughter. Sorry that this is really shaky. And The Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. The Green Mile, It, and 112363 by Stephen King. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. Every Day by David Leviathan. Running out of room. Legend, Prodigy, and Champion by Marie Lu. Rags and Bones by Melissa Marr and Tim Pratt. Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. The Lovely... The... It's just Lovely, Dark, and Deep by Amy McNamara. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Move, giant stuffed dog. Random paper towel. As I drop a bottle of... I don't even know what that was. I think it was Tylenol. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Kill Your Friends by John Niven. Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Children, Children, and Hollow City by Ransom Rakes. And now we're moving on to what I like to call my Harry Potter shelf. Uh, we have a French for the modern word, world, <laughs> can't talk today, um, this was my grandmother's French textbook in high school, and when I started taking French in high school, she gave it to me. We have Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth, 
And then we have all my Harry Potter books. We have the new paperback set that I got because my set is falling apart. So we have the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. Then up there I have two more copies of the first two books and then my original paperback set which you can tell by the spines I've read many times they're well loved and then I have the last two in hardback and I have to get this one rebound and then we have Extremely Loud and Incredibly Coath by Jonathan Safran Foer I don't know how to say that last name then we have The Alchemist, The Secret Lives of the Immortal Nicol Nicholas Flamel by Michael Scott. And then just sitting here we have Don't Let the Dog, Don't Let, Don't Let's Go to the Dogs Tonight uh, by Alexandra Fuller. This is a book for my English class. Everything is falling apart today. And then down here we have a bunch of nonsense. I have my iPods and my the box my phone came in. My iPod charger. Um, all my phone cases, which I have way too many of. And then some headphones. And then down here we have The Magician, which is the second book in the immortal the sec what is the series called the secrets of the immortal Nicol nicholas flamel by michael scott then we have the complete works of william shakespeare and then all's well that ends well as you like it a midsummer's night dream the taming of the shrew and macbeth by shakespeare and then we have this is what happy looks like, and the statistical probability of love at first sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Night world bind ups, which have secret vampire, daughters of darkness, spellbinder, dark angel, the chosen, and soulmate by L. J. Smith. Hiding away back there is a walk to remember by Nicholas Sparks. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevenson. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Leviathan by Scott Westerfield. Ugliest Pretties and Specials by Scott Westerfield. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Book Thief by Marcus Duzak, and The Cat from Hugh, a Vietnam War story by John Lawrence. And then I also have not on my shelf because I ran out of room. We have The Essential Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. The Giver by Lois Lowry, which I just found out this is going to be a turned into a movie, and I'm so excited to see it. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And Peter Arnett, Live from the Battlefield from Vietnam to Baghdad, 35 Years in the World's War Zone. No, I am not a Vietnam history fanatic. I just took a Vietnam course in college all right so that's gonna wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it um make sure like I said earlier that you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button um to let me know that you want to see more and yeah um let me know in the comments uh what Books you guys would like to see me do reviews on. Um, I have a couple in mind to start off with, but I want to know what you guys want to see. 
because I could go through and review every book on my shelf and every book I've ever read, but I don't want to do something that's not going to interest you guys, because who wants to sit there and listen to somebody talk about something that you're not interested in? So, yeah. Um, I'm sure this video is pretty long, so I'm going to shut up and stop talking, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!